ready. So the basic, one, two, three, five, six, seven. Now the weight shift counts because that's the one that makes more, is better for bachatas as well. Left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right. Now the turn, you always do a prep. The prep is you put the energy on one side and then release it to the other. So in this case, we rotate this way. Always prep, always, always, always. And bachata shares fundamentals in all the dance. The fundamental shared in the turn is the bachata basic. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, and basic. One, two, three, always positive energy, feeling good, feeling good about yourself. Six, seven, eight, cool. Um, when you do forward and back, you rotate on the seven, eight, to indicate that that's when you're gonna move forward and back. One, two, three, and we're gonna to return to basic. You shift your weight clearly and in the receptacle cuerpo. You will straighten up your, your body, and then you move to the other side. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Now the shoulder, you, it's shoulder, chest, move and you prep seven, eight in the opposite direction against the potential energy that wind up in one direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. One more time, but now with the shape, weight shifts, and remember not to move your shoulders weirdly. It's just the minimum energy so that it's clean and elegant. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, I shift my weight to end it, and then the side body roll, one, two, three, and four, you breathe, five, six, seven, and eight, at the end you straighten up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and leads, the counts for leading it, one, you're sort of doing it in reverse, five, Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, and four. And you convincingly put the false weight on the left and continue. One, five, sorry, five, five, six, seven, eight. Woo, awesome. Are you, Julian, may I have you real quick for that video? Okay, okay, awesome. So now you always do the connection things that we always do. Um, you are having the end here principle. So um, Juliana has a good frame and she's trying to maintain this constant pressure over time. Um, you use it to invite, to walk, and no chicken arms, ready chicken arms, do it. So no, none of that, no straight arms either. So now we have, she has a frame, we walk, and then we have, we walk backwards, I shift her weight, and she's always waiting until the last second. So although we're practicing and teaching with the sequences, we don't want to accidentally teach our dancers to back and that's why leads are always prepping, and this is why follows are always, your part of the deal is to always not assume a move, or wait until the last second, that is like the implicit deal. <laughs> yeah, seven, eight, so that's the contract. Seven, eight, and one, two, three, so the, you keep doing that connection thing that I just said. She's still pressuring, and I'm still like listening to her. Seven, eight, and one, two, three, five, six, Seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four. Rotate. One, the last thing. Rotate. Rotate. Um, seven, eight. We're just going to do five. Ready? Five, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Three and four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the neck comment that I made earlier. I'm just going to do the follows body roll. One, was that the count? Maybe it wasn't, but it doesn't matter. One, two, three, four, and this is what I want you to do. The chest goes first, then the head. So the head has its inertia. You don't do this. It's not an active head roll. It's not an active head movement unless you want to hurt your neck. So um, don't head hurt your neck. Just let it be sort of natural. Hip, chest, 
and then the head follows. Woo! Awesome. Thank you, guys.